me start recording. Let me lock the room and let me share my screen. So what we've talked about so far is building out your website and your blog, taking care of all of your settings, building your products, building your offers, which is the checkout page for your product, and then building your pipelines, which are your funnels to your product. Today, we're going to cover the last aspect of Kajabi, which is people. The section people manages all of your entire email list and customer contacts, your assessments, and if you have the correct plan, your affiliate area. If you are going to be importing for the first time, you're going to click right here under add people. So this means that you have an existing email list inside of MailChimp or a uh, constant contact, active campaign, convert kit, infusion soft, whatever software you're using. And what you will do inside of that software is export all of those contacts as a CSV file. Once you have that file, which should not take too long to download, you are going to import it here and you're going to select import multiple people. And this is where you are going to paste the lines from your CSV as follows. So it's going to look like this. So you might have to do some uh, formatting inside of your uh, CSV. If that sounds too technical for you, then hire someone to do it for you on Fiverr. If when in doubt, when there's a technical problem, go to Fiverr. Uh, they just programmed a Google Sheet for me, which was great. So get that done. And then what you can do if you want to is like, for example, if you have a segmented list and let's say you have customers versus just regular newsletter subscribers, you could take all of your customers first and import them here, put in all their contact information and then click grant offer. This is if you're going to be moving systems. You had a course on Teachable, you've moved it to Kajabi, and now you're trying to figure out how do I import my customers so they automatically have access to that course inside of Kajabi. This is how you would do that. So you would paste in those contacts, you would click grant offer, and select the course you want them to have. You can also add tags. And the thing that you want to be sure to do is click this, subscribe to marketing emails. Otherwise your emails will go to no one and we don't want that to happen. So you're going to subscribe here and then just legally they're saying you've gotten the permission. This wasn't like a list that you bought and stole that you're emailing illegally. So you click that and then you click save. This is the part which can be, I think, possibly the hardest part of getting started in Kajabi. So if you have an issue with this, please reach out to support and please pester them until they do this for you if you're having a problem. Uh, a lot of people tend to have a struggle with this. I think it's mainly because they don't format it correctly. So you'll see here there's no spaces. There's the comma and then the email starts. So it's little things like that that can affect your import. But again, if you have any issues, you can always go here to help. You can go into the help center to look at the docs that move you through it step by step. So I'm just going to bring this up as an example. So let's say import email list. Here we go. So here we go. They are going to show you step by step how to get this done. See how this says no extra comps, commas, spaces, special characters. Um, so that can be very helpful. And if that doesn't work, then you can go remember the tiny little thing right here that they've hidden so they don't get messages as much. Live chat, you'll just click that. Someone asked me the other day, Kajabi chat is dead. I can only send a support ticket. I'm like, no, it's not. It's that tiny little button. They're like, oh my gosh, that's so sneaky. I'm like, yeah, but if you were getting like thousands of chats a day, you'd probably do something similar. Okay, now let's talk about list cleanup. See this little thing that says filters? What's great about this is you can come in here and let's say you want to figure out who hasn't, um, has not opened email broadcast. You could select here and select the broadcast, see who hasn't opened it, and you could resend a newsletter to them again to see if they'll open it. You know what I mean? So there's all kinds of things that you can do here under these filters. 
um, member has not visited a page in the last, you can send them a select email. Otherwise, what you can do is you can clean up your list by selecting has a hard bounce delivery if you want. Um, I would select all of these and then yes, and then apply. Wait for six years as it goes through all my contacts. And what it's calculating here is, okay, how many of the emails that she sent out have hard bounce so that they can select the right amount? Oh, of course, great. You get my drift. So is that making sense so far? The things that you can do inside of the people section? You can also, you know, manage your tags here if you want. And I have different tags depending on what quiz they've taken, if they're a lounge member, if they've gotten this template. And that just makes it easy that if I'm gonna send an email that is specifically advertising something, I can select the people that have been tagged with this. So it's really a nice way, you can pretty much work your way around anything. And that's what I really appreciate about Kajabi is they've given you lots and lots of ways to figure it out. You can also create custom segments. So like this is my lounge manager. So she created this segment because it was all of the active people inside of the visibility lounge. So what's nice about that is that whenever she sends a newsletter, she can select this segment. The other thing you can do if you have everyone tagged is you can just say has tag lounge member. Okay, so I know that that's probably as far as I want to go in here because I know that we're all kind of new to Kajabi and we don't need to, you know, go too crazy into it, but just know you have a lot of flexibility and you can always go into the help docs to figure more out about the people section. Doing good? Okay. So next we are going to do assessments. This is another word for like quiz. And the way that I use this is that, uh, for example, my lounge members, when they are done with a specific stage inside the product, I have them take this quiz. And what's nice about that is if you wanna wait to unlock the next stage until they've completed this assessment and passed with like an 80% or more, you can do that. And that's something that's very unique to Kajabi and very exciting. So I have the passing grade here of 90%. I might change that to 95, who knows. But for now, it's at 90%. And what you do here is you create the assessment and then you click edit questions. And this is how you can build your assessment. So here I have questions with paragraph answers. I have multiple choice. I have, um, where is it? I have an upload file. So like when someone finishes audition stage, they have to send me a, a photo of them wearing their brand color. They have to put in the link to their YouTube video. They have to do all these different things. So you can build that out here. Maybe you are a coach and you want people to fill out an onboarding form before you have a call with them. Or once they become a client, you want them to fill out a form. You can do all of that through this feature. What you can't really do um, is do like a normal quiz with a specific result. That isn't something that is capable yet. I've heard rumors of it eventually coming to Kajabi, but you can use something like Interact. You can use something like PlayBuzz, Xco, all kinds of different quiz making softwares and just embed them into one of your pages. But if you wanna do something called an assessment, you can easily do that here. So what I would like to do is show you what an assessment looks like. And the other thing I'm gonna highlight really quick while that loads, be sure to put send a completion email to your team and put your email address here. Otherwise you will never see the assessment. That's something easy to miss. Maybe not for a lot of people, but for me, I missed it. Okay, so we're gonna go here into audition stage and I have ready to move on to stage two. And then you're gonna see, here's the assessment. So they literally can just fill out their information.
We're just going to select something random here. There we go. That's a small file. It's going to store. Click next. Okay, so see, then it says, you're not quite ready. Go back, complete all the lessons and implement them so we can move forward. If they were to pass, then what would happen is it would say, congratulations, stage two is unlocked and they would see audition stage and guest star stage become available. Making sense? So that's pretty cool. If you want to drip out your content based on these assessments, I've seen it where people have the assessments just be feedback forms. So throughout their course sections, they'll have these assessments in there so that you can get feedback from your customers. Also, I've seen them done as onboarding forms so you can get the information you need to start a project with a one-on-one -on -one client. So there's all kinds of ways that you can use assessments and then the only like if you needed to use this as an independent page, you would just click open link in new tab and just take the URL from there. Making sense? So if you needed to send this via an email, you just take the link and say, hey, take the assessment here and hyperlink this into the email. Otherwise, you can very easily uh, put this into your different products and you can just click the assessment you wanna be in there. Very, very simple. Making sense? I'm going to change this to 95 while we're here. People are trying to squeak by 90%. Unacceptable. Okay. Uh, all right. Any other questions about assessments? Nope. Okay. The only thing that I'm going to resolve really quickly is I want to make sure I'm giving you the right directions on how to add the assessment. So let me just go into Audition, audition stage and make sure that that is correct. Okay, so it's right here. All right, so that looks like it's already an assessment. Let me see what I did here. Okay, so it looks like I was able to just attach it right in here. So that's exciting. Let me see if I can replicate this. Okay, right here. Select the media you'd like to attach. Click assessment instead of video. Woohoo! Okay. Last but not least, we are going to cover uh, affiliates. And I want to chat a little bit about both having affiliates and being an affiliate. So we'll go over both of those things right now. So if you have the plan that includes an affiliate center, it is so, so easy, which I really appreciate. It's not as fancy as it will be. They are working on making this a more attractive platform. Um, and I'm one of the people that whenever they're like, hey, let's hop on a call with some of our members to get feedback. I'm like the first one to book it. And I'm like, you need blah, 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 blah. So I know that it's coming, uh, but this is pretty much what you're going to be looking at for right now. The sign up link is here. That means when they go here, they're going to be prompted to sign up as your affiliate. Their login link is here. So what I recommend doing, let me just show you what this looks like, is in whatever product you're selling, have a little affiliate lesson. So I have it right here, it's about 10 minutes, and I'm telling them, here's how much you need to cover your membership. Step one, sign up to become an affiliate. I have that link. Uh, save your affiliate login link, this link. So I'm putting step by step what they need to do in order to become an affiliate. And the nice thing is, instead of them having to try to remember this login link, they know that it's in this section of the lounge whenever they need to see it. The other thing that I have available is just on the homepage here. You see right here, 
affiliate login. And that is just a photo that I've added as a button in here that takes them to the login link. See? So the nice thing is you can set this up however you'd like to, but if you want it to be relatively hands-free, then I definitely recommend making that lesson and doing it earlier, like in the start here section, because then people, as they're excited coming into your product, are going to be more likely to sign up and immediately start referring. Um, the other thing that I've done is I actually have a Google, a public Google Drive folder, and they have a Google Doc that has social media copy, and then they have uh, images and a suggested promotion schedule. Obviously, this is above and beyond, but if this is something eventually you're going to consider doing, I just wanted to cover all the bases so you would know how I did it. So I literally have a Google Drive folder that I, that I just make public and I share that link in here so they have everything they need so they're not having to sit there and go, okay, like what am I going to post? How am I going to email this? They already have all of that covered in here. Okay, so that's the sign up link the login link. I've explained how you can put that inside of your product. Um, the next thing you're going to do is go into, let me figure it out. Hang on. Okay. So it's going to look something like this. When you have people that have made affiliate sales, you'll go into transactions and you can see by date. So for example, I come in the first of every month and I look at for that last month who's made sales. So for July, we have two sales so far. And so both, I know this is Caroline, this is Beth, and I'm paying them out via PayPal, $10.50. Okay, so that's where you're going to go once a month when you're gonna do your payout. I recommend just getting in that habit because then you'll get used to it. I have a little reminder in my calendar the first of the month that pops up that says pay affiliates. So I come in here, I go to transactions, ooh, sorry, and I pay them out via PayPal. For setting up things for affiliate links, you'll need to come here into share links and you'll need to click new link. You're gonna put in the name. So I'm just gonna put test in here. You're gonna redirect to, I recommend doing like a sales page or an offer checkout page. What this means is that when let's say Stu logs in and he wants to promote the lounge, he grabs his unique affiliate link but where is that going to go when someone clicks on it? You get to decide that. So here you're deciding, is that going to go straight to the checkout page or to the sales page? For me, I usually do checkout page because usually if they're promoting my stuff, they're already endorsing it. And so the people are warm already to buy it. But you can definitely do sales page if you'd like to. And then you select your offer. So I'm going to select lounge. And then, this is important, if for some reason you need to hide a link from the rest of your affiliates, toggle this on, otherwise you'll click save. When you click save, you're going to see it pop up here as one of these. And what that means is that when one of your affiliates goes to log in, trying to stretch this out, as Kajabi thinks about it, okay, uh, as they go to log in, let's see what they're going to see. So here we go. Here's Michelle. I have her email and all that. And these are the links that she can see. So she, if she wants to promote the lounge, she's going to take this link. If she wants to promote podcast weekly, she's going to take this link. You get the hint, but you get to decide inside of your share link settings, which ones they get to see and where that link goes to a checkout page, to a landing page, to a sales page. So just put in whatever journey you want them to go on. Clear so far. Any questions? Nope. Okay. So last but not least, just because this is what you can miss and I don't want you to miss it. Make sure that when you create your offer, so let's go into this visibility lounge plan. You're going to come down here. And do you see this? Give an affiliate commission. Check that. Otherwise it won't pop up, right? 
and then put in your commission. Um, I recommend anywhere between 30 and 50%. That's usually pretty industry standard. Obviously, if you have a coaching package that's $1,000, you don't have to pay them 30%. You can pay them 10% and they're going to make $100. So just figure out what that pay scale is for you. For the lounge, I pay out 30%, so they make $10.50 uh, per member that signs up under their link for as long as they're a member. So that's how they can cover their membership and then scale their income if they want. So be sure to click give an affiliate commission and 30%. That is what I have for you today. Last but not least, let's cover now that you understand how to bring people on as your affiliates. If you're interested in building a little bit of side income by being a Kajabi affiliate, you're going to see something called Kajabi partners right here. And this is your little dashboard. It's so cute. I hate the leaderboard. It stresses me out. So you can click hide leaderboard if you don't want to see people that are just going crazy with it. Uh, but you can see here your progress in terms of earning your commissions. You can look here under your earnings and see how much you've made so far, what your lifetime earnings are, and it'll put right here like what your next level is. So you can see like, oh, I need to re refer 10 more people to get, like for example, I just hit the Emerald level, so they're sending me a pair of AirPods. So it'll say to you like, oh, your next reward is this. Your campaigns are down here. I recommend doing the 28 day challenge and you're just gonna click view links. And I just do this one here, the 28 day trial. So I click this and copy that link and then I'll put it in my blogs or in you know a social post or whatever. So if that's something you are interested in doing to cover your cost of Kajabi, you can absolutely do that. I find the most effective ways are via blogs and promoting those on Pinterest. But there are times that I do free challenges on Facebook too, and that works. So you can figure out whatever it is that would be the best fit for you according to the visibility vehicle that you're most comfortable with. Maybe it's live streaming. Maybe it's on your podcast mentioning them wherever you want to. So of course, there is no obligation to promote Kajabi. But if you want to make a little bit of side income, you can absolutely do that. Any questions? You can feel free to unmute because I'm pretty much done. <laughs> I know today was a shorter day. Save the shortest for the last so you can actually breathe and be like, oh, I can handle this, right? Because the last three weeks have been really intense. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> on, your, on your main page, on your, your web page, mm -hmm. if you want to list uh, in Kajabi uh, affiliate links on there, can you list those uh, on your main page, like at the bottom or someplace? Absolutely. Let me show you what I do. I actually have a page um, in my navigation. So let me bring this up just so you can see exactly what I'm chatting about. Let me just silence the brand video. Hang on. Okay. So here's the home page with an attractive screen grab there. And up on the top navigation, you'll see tools to love. So I click on this. This is a separate page that I've linked in my navigation. And I just said like, hey, depending on what stage you're in, here are some tools you might want. So here's Kajabi. And I describe everything it covers. And then I have this link, right? Which I need to update because they took away our ability to give people 10% off, unfortunately. So now I only have the 28 day trial. Uh, so you can link it wherever you want. You can link it in your blogs. You can have little um, like opt-in images that's on your blog that say like, hey, click here to grab the 28 day Kajabi trial. Um, so you can do it in a plethora of ways, but yeah, you can put that link anywhere. Make sense? Yep. Cool. Helen, how you feeling? Pretty good. I mean, I think I'm where Tani is too. I haven't done a whole lot. I did change my little picture, so it'll be me. So I was like, okay. Good. The favicon. Good job. Yay. That's yeah. good. Hey, a lot of people, most people forget that. So you're ahead of a lot of them. It's always like, oh, there's the Kajabi logo. Even on my stuff, you'll open it and you're like, oh, Michelle, you forgot that. <laughs> now you guys will know. <laughs> Tanya, how are you feeling? Yeah, good. Just I have my work cut out for me. So yes, <laughs> but yeah. I, I'm glad I had this overview. So I'm not so overwhelmed. 
going into it. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. The key is to remember you're learning a new language to give yourself time and be patient with yourself and just focus on one small thing a day. So maybe today is getting your domain set up and it's, for example, it's going to give you the option to do it right inside of Kajabi or to go through Cloudflare, go through Kajabi. It's easier. And just work on that. That's going to take you, you know, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. It might, you know, you might run into a little hassle and you have to chat with support. And then the next day I'm going to work in the rest of my settings and get my payment software integrated and da, da, da. If you can just break it down and walk through with me in this mini course, getting things set up, you're going to feel a lot calmer about it. And you're actually going to get more done versus, okay, today I've set aside for Kajabi. Let me try to get all of it done today. Cause then you're just going to be miserable. Right. So I think that's the ticket. You're going to be able to come into the course whenever you want. And if you have a question, you can just comment below the appropriate video and ask me, and I will answer it to the best of my ability. Um, otherwise, I got to tell you the first two weeks I moved everything over, I was on with chat all the time because I didn't know any of this stuff. So you're yeah. already a leg up. You have the overview of how things work and connect, but don't be afraid to chat with support. That is what they're there for. Perfect. Yeah. Feeling good? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that I'm going to release all of you to go enjoy the rest of your day. Take the weekend off, jump into it next week. And you know, you have my email. If you want to reach out, if you have any questions of anything I can answer, I'm happy to do so. Great. Good job. Very, uh, very well done. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you.